What goes into being a great leader? Say that again. What goes into being a, being a great leader? Uh, just being a great leader, I have to say, to be a great leader, you have to lead by example and not just tell people what to do, but you have to be one of those guys willing to take on the task yourself and do it as well. You talked about the responsibilities of playing end at Georgia, because at that position, we haven't seen crazy sack numbers like some of the other positions in Kirby's Uh Playing at end, end at University of Georgia is very different because at University of Georgia, we play a lot of different defenses, and so therefore you can be scattered all lot on the field from playing a five technique, a four eye on the front, you play a three. You can, so you're really doing everything to just um, expand your resume, and it's really it's really a good thing that you can do all of that. Play defensive end at the University of Georgia. And if you can do play defensive end at the University of Georgia, it means a lot. When you came in, I think you were 285, and you were all just blown away. They put you on the kickoff. We don't normally see big guys like you on a kickoff team. How did that transpire? And how much did you enjoy that? Uh, playing on kickoff, it really meant a lot to me because uh, as a freshman, for one, that's how I got my jitters out and just go down and hit somebody. Then that set the momentum for me when I got on the field on third down. So I was already juiced up, ready to go. Because I'm honest with myself, I watched the top. So you're extremely versatile playing up and down the line. What would you say is probably the position that best suits you and your skill set? Where it's like, man, I can really need a lot of production. I can really showcase who I can play. I have to say, defensive end is probably the best position that I can play. I can really showcase who 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 I can play. I can really so what do you say is like the best pass rush that you have to lean on during this offseason? Uh, I have to say my best pass rush move that I lean on right now is it has to be speed to power and my long arm. My arms are extremely long, and with my long arm, I feel like I can do a lot and be very productive. Has there been any really stuck out for you in terms of like you just walked away from that game and you're like, man, I feel really, really good about that? It's been a couple. I've had great interviews with all the teams. I, I love the game of football, and I'm just taking it all in. A lot of people have said that you would do really well at the combine. How much have you looked forward to this? And what events do you think you're going to open some eyes on? Uh, I know I'm a very athletic person, so at the combine, it's really just to show you all. I know the type of person that I am, so I'm just going to keep my head down, like I say, and do what I do best. So, Ivan, what's it mean you're representing your school here at the combine right now at this moment? Representing the University of Georgia, like you all know, outside of me is 13 other guys from the university here, so just to be one of those guys that's mentioned a lot, uh, it really means a lot to me, and to come from the University of Georgia is a great place to come from, great coaching staff, and staff in the building in general, uh, it just means a lot, it's a family hood at the university. Have you been thinking about this moment growing up as a little kid, and now you're here you are, what's this moment like for you? Uh, I have, I've dreamed of this moment ever since I was seven years old, I've been playing football ever since seven, and it just means a lot, so that's why I take it all in. Uh, I have, and it went very well. I did. He's a great person. I do study Miles Garrett, Miles Garrett, and uh, me personally, I think Miles Garrett is a great edge rusher. He's a big guy. He, he, his body type is just like me. He's a little taller, but uh, he's one of those guys, a hard nosed worker. And, Willing to get the job done. If you played on offense, what position would you play doing? If I played on offense, um, I have to say I wouldn't be a bad tight end. <laughs> When did it hit you that you go to national title? Um, it hit me like a couple, I have to say like a week or so later after we won a national championship. But like George said the other day, just being on the flight, heading back to Indianapolis, uh, headed to this exact same stadium that we won and really kicked in once again that I won a national championship right here in this same, in this same stadium. What was your take when you saw that pick six? What did it the game? It was a very exciting moment just hearing the roar in the stadium. It was very crazy. And at that moment, uh, the game wasn't over yet, but it, it sealed the deal. Um, I have a lot of friends in the league, uh, Tate Crowder, Malik Heron, guys like that. Uh, those are guys that I communicate with very often, and I always I talk to them through the same process, even though they didn't get to do a lot of the things they were doing do because of COVID. But uh, those guys just told me to go be me. I'm a, I'm a football person. I've been, like I said, I've been playing since I was seven years old, so they just tell me to be me, and I'll do great. I have to say Bosa, J.J. Watt, Von Miller, um, Aaron Donald, obviously.
He's a pass rush guru, guru and I like to get a couple moves from him.